hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this trendy typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started As always here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition and we will call this composition as our main animation. Width I will choose 1920 and height I will choose 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 seconds and background color is black and simply hit ok. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit title section. Then I will press ctrl n again to create another composition and we will call this composition as break because this is the text that we are gonna create and height I'll choose 200 and frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 seconds and background color is black and simply hit ok now choose our text tool and I'm gonna choose white color for this text and I'm gonna choose Nexa bold font and I'll type my text break now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size. Now select this text, press P for position, create one keyframe. Zoom in a little bit and go to around 1.10 frames and move this text over here out of this composition. Now we will select this text, we will hit Ctrl D, hit U and delete those keyframes. Press K to jump to the forward direction and now I'll select this one and I'll make it apparent with this second one so as you can see this text is parent with this one now I'll alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it so we will get this continuous looping animation over here now we will go to our project window over here we will get this brick composition we will hit ctrl D on it we will double click, hit ctrl K and we will type rules, hit ok and now we will delete this composition, I mean not composition but this text, we will alt click to remove that com what we call expression, hit K and at this time I am gonna let's say go over here and I will delete this keyframe over here, over here I will type rules now select this text go to 10 frames i mean 1.10 10 frames and move this at downward direction like that now select this text hit ctrl d hit the u and delete those keyframes press k to jump this jump this indicator at forward direction and at this point i'll make it apparent with the second one and now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression over here now if you see we will get this looping animation over here and we will get this one looping animation over here now i'll select both the text in break i'll go to the character menu and over here i'll add set to white which means stroke color white and for the stroke width i'll choose 5 same thing i'll follow over here i'll select the both the text layers over here i'll choose white color and stroke width i'll choose 5 now I'll go to my main animation, I'll select break and rules composition and I'll drag it. Select this break, press V for selection tool and bring this at the top and let's see what it looks like. Go to the start, select both the layers and move them over here. Now I'll select this break and we will choose our rectangle tool and we will create a mask over here same I select this rules and we will create a mask over here so if you see we will get something like this you can move this a little bit upward so we will get this difference over here now I will select both the layers and hit ctrl D to duplicate it and bring it down and I'll change the color and make it yellow now right click new and I'll create one null object I'll bring in middle of them select this rules and break make it apparent with this null one select this null one select this null one 
and let's make it 110 or let's make it 120 now select these rules press p for position and bring it down select this brick press p and bring it upwards like that now we will go to our project window we will select this brick we will hit ctrl d we will select this brick hold alt and drag and drop on this one so it will replace that also select this rules and hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this fourth layer and press alt and bring it on the top so it will replace that now go to this rules hit ctrl a to select both the layers and over here i'll delete this fill the only thing i want over here is stroke and for the stroke width i'll choose two pixels same procedure we will go through for this break i'll select this break hit ctrl a to select both the layers select this fill and hit this delete this fill and the first stroke width i'll choose two so as you can see we will get something like that now we will delete this null one select both the layers this uppermost and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as for one text hit ok select these layers press ctrl shift c and we will call it as two text now we will hide this one for now we will select this one we will choose our rectangle tool and we will create one mask like that and let's make it inverted now go to the tra uh, not transform but mask one and i'll increase the feathers somewhere like that select our selection tool double click on this one and move this a little bit over here so we'll get something like this now select this text to select this go choose our rectangle tool and create one mask on this one somewhere around like this make it inverted go to the mask one and i'll increase the mask feathers select this selection tool move this move this over here and move this over here select those handles yep so now if i see this animation we will get something like this now we will go to this second we will select this rules we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply fill effect on it and we will choose green color we'll select this and we will apply fill color on it and we will choose blue color so as you can see we will get something like this select this text uh, i mean this take and text layer and apply glow effect on it and i'll increase the glow somewhere around this now select this glow hit ctrl c select this first one and hit ctrl v and i'll increase the glow radius glow threshold and glow intensity i'll point 0.4 or something point 0.5 something like this now right click new and create one adjustment layer and go to the effect and presets panel and apply transform effect on it and in this queue if you choose this minus six so as you can see we will get something like that now hit ctrl a to select all of them press ctrl shift c to copy and we'll call it as text and hit ok hit ctrl d select this second press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like that t for opacity and let's make it 10 so as you can see we will get this looping continuous typographic animation so that is our final output So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.